welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Halloween clean and decorate with me. I'm so excited to be decorating for Halloween. It's kind of early, but I wanted to get started early and show you guys all the fun new decor that's out right now. So you can go ahead and go get some stuff if you haven't already for Halloween. I'm going to be using a couple things from last year and a bunch of new stuff that I got this year. I'm going to be doing a part one today and a part two for clean and decorate for Halloween will be going up on Wednesday. And that's going to be me decorating my living room and just mostly like in the entryway. And then today I'm doing my dining room and the kitchen. So I hope you guys are ready for tonight's clean and decorate with me. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Yelena and I make a lot of motherhood, homemaking kind of videos here on YouTube, lots of cleaning motivation, and I post on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. and Sundays at 8 a.m. So you can expect new videos from me every single week on those days and a lot, a lot of clean with me's and decorating videos. So definitely subscribe and turn that notifications on so you don't miss a video for me. And yeah, let's get started with tonight's Halloween 2021 clean and decorate with me part one. It's the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Why do I guess the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls and let me, ooh Take down your walls and So in our dining room, I'm just cleaning the table up and the chairs. I'm always wiping little greasy fingers off the chairs because our toddler likes to climb on the chairs and I'm always wiping the chairs down and his little seat down because it's always full of food. This is probably one of the most used rooms in our house because we eat dinner here every single night. So this area is usually pretty messy. Um, there's food on the table or underneath the table. And this year I'm keeping it very minimal because our toddler is climbing all over the place and grabbing stuff. So I decided to just use our tablecloth from last year, the one with the cute pumpkins on it, and put this down because it's going to keep it clean and also it's just kind of decorative without having to put a lot of stuff on the table. And then I have the little skull from the Dollar Tree from last year, a little glitter pumpkin which is also from the Dollar Tree. And then this really cool skeleton, which we got from our local grocery store, um, Harris Teeter. They always have these different ones every year. I haven't found any this year, but they're always super cool. And I have them all over the house. And they're always like really cool talking points when people come over because they have like a pirate one and a bunch of different ones. So they're pretty cute. And yeah, that's pretty much what I decided to do this year. And then here I'm just cleaning up the dishes because I like to sometimes just put the dishes up in the sink when we're after we have dinner because we like to go on walks at night and sometimes I just don't feel like cleaning them up right away so I just leave them till later so I can just rinse them off and put them in the dishwasher and I usually do this after our toddler goes to bed so that way we don't have to spend too much time cleaning up the kitchen as a family and we're going to spend more time together and I clean up later so that's pretty much my nightly routine Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I'll 
so much time looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of decorating my coffee bar area this is honestly my favorite this year i was so excited to decorate this area because one i'm a coffee holic and i love my coffee and also because i went to target dollar section and i found a bunch of really cute cheap decorations for halloween for my coffee bar area and this is something that i've never really decorated before for halloween but then this year i decided to really go all out for this section because this is my favorite area in the whole house every morning i wake up i just go straight to my coffee area and i make my coffee this is what makes me happy so i really wanted to make this area super cute and very festive for halloween i got this really cute little two-tier tray at target for only five dollars and these super cute pumpkins were a set of three for three dollars which i thought were adorable i honestly did not have a theme this year for halloween but i ended up just getting a lot of stuff like black and white stuff and it actually all turned out super cute and i'm obsessed with it so if you guys love all these little pumpkins and all these decorations most of them are from the dollar section at target and also these little glasses that have like brain juice on them and just the super cute little um tiny glass that has the little like um glitter in it it all kind of just like looked really cool and kind of matched the theme for coffee and then i found a little witch last year at the dollar section and it makes noises so i think this area is turning out to be so cute i might actually add more things as i go especially because it's still pretty early on but i'm just literally obsessed with this area i just think it's adorable the little tree is also from target i think it was only five dollars and the trick-or-treat sign was 
I think I found that at Home Goods. I will be doing a whole house, like Halloween house tour. And I will also mention everything that I get from everywhere there. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, pretty much everything is from the dollar section at Target. And it just looks adorable. I also added these really cute straws from Target. And ended up just using the orange and black ones. And I think they turned out so good in the little glass jar. And yeah, I'm just literally so obsessed with that area. It looks super cute. It turned out so good. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to, we got nothing to lose You're looking so old, you're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you Room. Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place Take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything we do you got me If you guys saw my fall clean and decorate with me I recently filled my glass jars with the popcorn from Sam's Club And then here I'm just kind of adding the Halloween Oreos And switching one of them out with the Oreos And then the other little snack mix that I found from Target for Halloween This is a great way to kind of fill an empty space If you have like empty counter space It just looks very decorative Plus it's just a great thing to have if you like snacking during the day Or if you have kids that like to snack it's just easy to have everything out right there and I just think it looks really cute and kind of fills in that space and looks very clean so I definitely recommend doing that if you just have like a big counter space and you have no idea what to do with it plus the glass jars are super cheap I got those from the Dollar General for like two dollars and fifty cents so they were very cheap I know Amazon sells a bunch of them too for fairly cheap so it's just a great way to decorate of or to decorate empty space it's like you make me fly and when I look at you smile I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you it feels like I'm drunk on you it feels like I'm drunk on you
Alright you guys, I definitely am guilty of this because I don't do this often enough but I recommend you take your toaster and shake it upside down because I got so many crumbs out of this. It's not even funny. I can't remember the last time I cleaned this out and it's just so gross. It piled up so much in there and honestly like I'm disgusted by it because I'm like okay this could cause so many bugs to come into the house and just live in the toaster and i just never think to do this let me know down below in the comments if you clean your toaster out a lot the inside of it and what it looks like because i honestly always i just don't even think to do this all the time so so many crumbs came out of this it was literally shocking to me so yeah i definitely recommend doing that and cleaning your toaster out because that's the one thing that I feel like you just don't think to clean out but it just gets gross and piles up a bunch of stuff in there and a lot of crumbs from toast and stuff like that so definitely check your toasters you guys and then on this little hanging shelf i'm just adding another little skeleton this one is a pirate one and then just moving some decor around so keeping it pretty simple throughout the kitchen and dining room area and just adding little halloween pieces here and there i know i'll probably add a few more things as halloween gets closer it's still pretty early but right now i'm just keeping it pretty simple and if i find new things at the stores which i usually do i'll kind of like add as i go and i'll probably show you guys in future videos if i keep like adding new things if i find stuff at like ross or home goods or marshall's which are like my favorite stores to shop at for halloween stuff so yeah here i'm just cleaning up the rest of the kitchen making sure everything is clean and wipe down especially those areas that we touch the most and kind of accumulate the most germs during the day so i just like to keep the counters and everything pretty clean and then vacuuming the whole floor so everything is looking pretty nice and clean
So here I just decided to add some Halloween lights last minute. I found these from last year and I thought they would look perfect in the kitchen. I didn't think I was going to put any lights in the kitchen area just because I wanted to keep everything pretty simple. But honestly, the lights kind of made the whole look so much better and they just kind of made it look a lot more festive and spooky looking. So I'm so glad that I added these lights and it turned out super cute. And my toddler absolutely loves this area. Whenever he runs in here, he just is obsessed with it. So I'm super glad that I did this because everything just turned out really cute and kind of tied together and it looks really cool with like the spider up there that i added and then the bat so i i'm definitely glad that i added the lights at the end and it just kind of put the whole look together and looks really cool at night when you turn the lights off so yeah i definitely recommend adding some extra halloween lights because it does make it look a lot more festive So that is it for my clean and decorate with me for Halloween 2021 part one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked watching me clean and decorate for Halloween. I know it was a little bit early, but I really wanted to give you guys some ideas on how to decorate or some new decor that you may want to purchase for your own home. And I honestly just love having to enjoy Halloween decor a little bit longer. So this was definitely a plus and my toddler absolutely loves it. So also a plus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some great ideas on new decor or how you want to decorate for halloween this year like i said everything is pretty much from target or things that i had purchased last year and yeah everything turned out super cute and i absolutely love it make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time in my clean and decorate for halloween 2021 part 2 on wednesday at 5 p.m bye guys